Hey everyone, Nerdy you know, Hillbilly here. Me and Batman, we so on our way to see need, the Batman uh, movie. Cause baby, now we've got bad blood. Alright guys, we went to FYE. What is that? What? You said they had no more Batman pops left. That yeah, was the last this one? this was the last one. You're Batman! Why do you need one? Okay, let's go get food. Alright guys, so we stopped to go get some Little Caesars. Seriously? What? You got pizza sauce on the on the leather. Alfred will clean it out. Alright, let's go to the movie. The nerdy hillbilly had to get the Batman cowl popcorn bucket. Let's check it out. All right, guys, I just got out of the movie and you're probably wondering what happened to Batman? Well, quarter way through the movie, he gets up and says, Josh, there's been a death in my family. I will see you later. And I'm a good friend. I'm not gonna crowbar my way through his personal life. So uh, we'll talk later. Um, but Batman, if you're watching this right now, I will not be robbing you out of a review. All right, so here we go. I thought the movie was fantastic. It was a refreshing new way to tell a Batman story. Like, we're so used to Batman just kicking ass all the time. In this movie, Batman was more intelligent. He was a uh, detective. He did more detective work. It was just, it was so refreshing. And then the chemistry between him and Catwoman was so awesome because it reminds me of like the 66 Batman relationship mixed with the Arkham video game uh, vibe of the relationship they have. And the best thing was it was not the relationship from Dark Knight Rises. But it, it was so it was so greatly put together. Um, I felt like this movie was more realistic than the Christian Bale Batman. Like, and, you know, take this, this is my opinion, take it with a grain of salt. Um, I believe this movie was more realistic than Christian Bale's Batman. As much as I love Christian Bale, he's a great actor. I love American Psycho, but uh, this movie it was so good and I think to everyone that was so you know because I was a naysayer at one point about no Robert Pattinson can't be Batman he's a sparkly little bitch you know what I put that aside and as a comic book fan I went into this with an unbiased heart and mind so when I went into this movie I was like you know what what if I don't like it and I was like no 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 don't think like that I sat down I watched it oh my word I am glad I gave it a shot because it, it was so mind-blowing how good this movie was I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 hey if y'all like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see any new Nerdy Hillbilly videos. And I will see y'all later. Bye! And don't forget to get your Nerdy Hillbilly merch at Chaos and Class Designs.